Hello fellow RCers. Get a look at this. This is the Death Dealer. Death Dealer. It is my Frankenstein project, if you will. It is a nitro truggy in its current state, but it is a monster. It's What I want to do is make basically a monster truck, but with the durability and performance of a truggy. So I'm kind of trying to make uh, some people call them muggies or whatever. Right now I found this uh, truggy body. I made all the decals myself, uh, all the paint masks myself, painted it. It's in pretty bad shape because this thing, I beat the snot out of this thing. I mean, jumping ramps, it's flipped a million times. Look at, I mean, it's dirty. I cleaned the body up a little bit just so you can see something, uh, but it's a filthy mess. I cleaned it up a little more inside. Got some hole drills here for ventilation. Uh, it's running a 30 size LRP. That's a ZR30 engine, pull start. I opted for this to go for the pull start. Normally I'm a box start guy, but uh, this was just the ultimate bash vehicle. The whole purpose of this thing is durability and fun. You know, just bashing the hell out of it. I've set this thing flying, I don't know how many times. Um, but what I want to do now is, I don't run my nitro engines in the winter. So when winter time comes, I don't really use this. And I know there's a lot of different conversions. This thing is basically a concoction of like old jamming parts, some Ofna parts, uh, pro, I mean, you name a brand, associated, there's a whole bunch of different parts thrown on this thing. And um, basically this is what I ended up with. I, I, I do want to change the body and put more of a uh, traditional monster truck body. I'm not sure what body would fit. Uh, like I said, it's a tr truggy kind of design. I know the wheelbase is like 14 and a half inches. So if any of you guys have any ideas what I could throw on there, from, from center to center, it's 14 and a half. Uh, these tires are massive. I mean, just, just to give you an idea, here's, here's a tire off my, my low C8. 1 8 scale buggy. I mean, it's eaten. It, it's, it's insane. This truck is enormous. Let me let me just see. How, I, I never really even measured this. It's just so damn big. Uh, from tire to tire, 21 inches. And these are big tires. The width, 17 inches. The tires themselves are three and a quarter inches wide by about six and a half inches tall. They're huge. These are uh, empty. Thunder Tiger tires. Um, I got the fake beadlocks from Associated. It's just a mess of, of, of parts. I had a lot of stuff left over and I wanted to put something together and, and basically here it is. But what I want to do for the winter time, I don't want to simply do a conversion. I want to do something that I can convert back and forth. So come winter, I'm going to take the nitro components out, the tank, tune pipe, engine, and so on, the extra, the, the brakes, the servo, and I want to configure it for brushless. It's got carbon shock towers, which I have to seal, I never, never sealed them. Um, they're old, it's got some aluminum braces. I mean, it's made pretty well. Front brace is aluminum. Let me turn it on side so you can get a better, a better look at what's inside there. Um, I got outerwares over here to try to keep some of the dirt out. I don't know why I bother. This thing's a mess. Um, pull tank, the LRP pull starter. Not a bad engine, not the best thing in the world, but uh, it, it performs pretty well for what I needed to do. I put like a little battery monitor on the back so it tells me the status of the battery. I'm gonna change this to LiPo. Uh, the servos can take it. I have two high techs in here, massive servos. They're like, I don't know, one is, one is like 400 ounces, the other one's like three something. So they're, and I need it because these wheels are huge. So I need lots of torque. Uh, steering is actually great, even though they're big wheels like this. And, um, Shocks not bad. These are, I believe these are Ofna shocks. I think they're 16 millimeter if I'm not mistaken. So it's beefy. It's a truggy basically underneath for the most part. It's a whole truggy setup. But I wanted it to make it more like a monster truck. The tires are monster truck for sure. The body, I'm only using this body because I had it around and I wanted to uh, try my hand at making decals and so on. So not bad. It didn't come... It's, I mean, it's in bad shape because I knocked the hell out of it, but it uh, didn't come bad. 
but I want to put a traditional like uh, monster truck body on it. So I'm, I'm gonna have to check and see maybe if something Proline has to offer. I don't know if any of the Savage bodies uh, will actually fit to get an idea of what's in there. This thing is heavy, boy. Heavy. There's nothing. There's nothing uh, race ready about this thing. This thing is built for one thing, and it's uh, ripping. You know. So, if any of you guys have any ideas on bodies, please leave a comment below. Give me an idea. You know, doesn't nothing doesn't have to be anything crazy. It's just something uh, truck like. I don't want to do one of those like 1950s trucks. You know, like a Raptor style or you know something mainstream. But 14 and a half inch wheelbase. I don't know. Maybe I call Proline. They must have something. Um, so yeah, I'm, I have some electric conversion parts. I have a motor. I got an ESC from Hobbywing. So I have a plan, and uh, I have a spare uh, servo mount. So I can basically configure one with just the servo for electrics. So I can put my ESC here, and then I'll take out the uh, the brake and throttle servo and kind of put the ESC here. And I'm figuring. Uh, the motor will go here, battery pack here, I don't know, i got to see how everything will fit in. The receiver's in here, this takes up a lot of room. But anyway, this is going to be my project going forward. So I'll have a multi-part video on the whole conversion process. But like I said, I want to be able to convert it back so it's not a one-time trolley. I, I want to be able to convert it back just like this to uh, nitro. If I should so choose or, you know, dur during each season I could switch it over. I don't know how much of a pain in the neck it'll be, but that's my intention. So this is the introduction, basically, to it. Uh, it's going to go, it's going to get a lot cleaner than this. i got to clean her up and then uh, start doing the conversion. I'll have to drill some holes in the chassis. Let me show you the bottom. It's not in bad shape. Hang on. So the bottom's in pretty good shape. Um, it, probably because it has so much ground clearance. But nothing's really broken. I mean, it is very durable, I'll say that. It's heavy as hell, but durable. So my next video is probably going to have some of the components or all the components that I'm going to use for the electric conversion. And I'll, I'm going to show that. And then the third video will probably be start, you know, pulling everything out and modifying the uh, chassis to accept the electric components. And then the installation. And then the, hopefully I'll have a body picked out by then. And then the, the final running, and then I'll wrap it up. So I just wanted to give you an idea of what I'm looking to do here. I know I'm a, a little mental, have, wanting to switch it back and forth. But I never really see anybody do that. I see lots of conversions, but it's basically converting and then staying that way. I wanted to make it a convertible. Uh, anyway, that's a look. It's a beast. Sorry, it ate the beast. This thing is ridiculous. And I'm, I'm curious to see how it will be on, on brushless power. So obviously this is going to be 6S. I got 150 amp uh, speedometer, uh, speedometer, ESC. So I'm hoping that will be enough. And uh, it's not a castle, it's a hobby wing. But um, we'll see. Anyway, stay tuned. I have a bunch more RC videos uh, coming up. So uh, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe, and please, if you have any ideas on a body or any ideas on the conversion, this will be my first conversion, and uh, you know, just leave comments below, it, uh, it will be greatly appreciated. Thanks. Take care.